the only advice I, I would have would be to not listen to anyone and to do what you love. I like making things, it's fun. I feel like it's my uh, reason to be on the planet, so I just keep doing it. Doing a little bushwhacking today. Some unexplored waters behind us here. Let's see what we can't get into. All right, you got knees to oh, no f bombs. <laughs> we out here now. That's how you know. That is really how you know, though. I was like thinking that I was gonna wade it out, but I don't think I'm gonna wade through that. Fish are about to be caught. <laughs> cheat codes. Grab the grab the vines. That's the cheat code. Pulling my shoulder out. Oh god. Michael Phelps, <laughs> butterfly. Barely slow rolling it. It pretty much picked it up off a dead stick on the bass man. <laughs> Second cast, bass man. Oh, it might be a worm bite. <laughs> nice. Second cast. We came out. We're like, we really want to throw these bass mans from Glenn. He was really, really nice enough to send a whole bunch our way. Literally the best spinner baits ever. Um, but we're like, you know, it might be a worm bite, but it's been windier today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a worm it's a bite. Giant. It's not a worm bite, turns it's a out. Giant. Oh, a giant. It's a giant. So. Oh, it's a giant! Oh, it's a giant! Oh, it's a baby! <laughs> Baby! Oh! 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 It's a giant giant! It's a giant giant! Oh! 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 This is my biggest bass ever! Are you shitting me? I'm the bass man! Oh! I'm shaking the cameraman. Oh! You can keep F2. Keep it. Bro, that's not a real fish. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Two casts! Two casts! That was my second cast! The golden shiner. Eric, what is that? Uh, Eric, 12. What is, what is that? 12 pounds. What is 20? that? What is that? Let me see the spinnerbait. What is that? Show them that golden shiner. Look at that golden shiner in that thing's mouth. 
Oh my gosh, bro. Second cast. First time ever fishing this place. Knew it was probably good. Bassman spinnerbait. You can't you can't make this shit up. You look at the belly. Oh my <laughs> Yo, how sexy is that golden shiner too? I grabbed that Man, one last it second. Looks so Yo, good. Johnny, that's one of the other colors that he had. You mean the ones that were in the plastic Yes, bag? I grabbed the, the golden the shiner. I grabbed the golden shiner because it looks color. Yes, yes. Eric. I... Got some catching up to do now. So, we're gonna let this one go. There he goes. Look at that fish. Biggest bass of my life. Biggest bass of my life. Biggest bass of my life. Yeah, there you go. Any final words, Kai? She's ready. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me get on. Oh. Did you get it? We're going Yo, to. Look at the bass, man. He ain't even bend it out. Let me see. He didn't even bend it out. You get focused on it. Here's the lure. He didn't even bend it out. That felt like a redfish, bro. This is my next cast. We're going for a PB here. Oh, I just got whacked. I just got whacked. I just got this new St. Croix Bass X. Kai's throwing a brand new Premier. So shout out them, because those rods always handle. We got 30 pound straight braid Power Pro, and then we're each throwing different color Bassman spinner baits. Just thumping along these points. Two casts, two I mean, I thought my fish was big and it ended up looking like a two pounder. I mean, just another couple of casts later. Just like, they just eat it in here, man. Like, it's like hard to get this thing out. <laughs> wow. We're gonna need to work that out. Like, he was not going anywhere. That upper part of the mouth. He was just not getting off. All right. Another good one. We're probably at 20 pounds and three fish. <laughs> that was so cool. Fishing is so sick. Oh my brand new rod? It's the second fish I caught on this rod, dude. Yo, St. Croix. Ryan Teach. Where you at, Ryan Teach? Ryan Teach. Come on, man. <laughs> you just want the replacements. Yeah, bro. Boat rods. You see a boat? See a boat? We're fishing all day today. I was throwing my mojo bass earlier. 7-4 heavy. I had that rod for about... Going on three years, she finally gave out this morning on like a nice six pounder. But I went done fishing, so I, I had to go get another rod because I really only have two bass rods, and that was like my main one. So went to Bass Pro, they had a nice St. Croix Premier, seven foot heavy in there. Grabbed that thing probably, I don't know, 11 a.m. this morning. Came straight back out here, met up with the boys. We decided to do this shoot. Just caught my PB 10 minutes ago. Second fish that I've caught on this rod. Just bought it today. Thank you, St. Croix. Two and a half, three, three. <laughs> Definitely. So it's crazy though. So I saw, I, dude, I saw them busting and then I saw a pelican come up and the pelican came in and got a full mouthful of shad or whatever. And so I made one cast. Bump, bump. I was getting whacked the whole time I was bringing it in. Are you kidding me? We literally just drag stuff through the woods. We've thrown nothing but these spinner baits. They're just absolutely chewing it. We each have rods that we've never really thrown before. These new St. Croix, we've never thrown them. And uh, they're handling. And they're just so healthy in here too. How is that the first fish that I catch out of here, bro? Yo, I was 
was grinding my ass off at F2 all day. <laughs> Caught in the Matrix Monday to Friday, but we're neoing our way out of this shit. <laughs> it's so brutal. I know we're actually it's fucking a, neo. Bro, we only fish on the weekends, like literally. It's the only time we get to fish these days. Honestly, if that's the only fish I ever catch out of this place, I'll be alright. Yeah, why would you need to? Yeah. Uh, like, if I, I might even, might not even need to come back. Honestly. That's a <laughs> lie. Oh, <my. laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think so. it's supposed to that's be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, something just ate it on the drop. I just felt. <laughs> trying to catch your paddle? Huh? When you were trying to catch your paddle? Yeah, something just ate it on the drop. Oh my gosh! What? I just got destroyed on the drop. Yo, that ha that's this, uh, this happened like two or three times. That's what happened when I caught my first one. It ate it on the drop? Yeah, dude, it, it picked it up off the bottom. <laughs> Out at the pond, oh talk my. about Uncle Larry's ain't this! Oh Uncle Larry's ain't that! Oh Shut the f up! Y'all went in the pond with Johnny and them! Y'all went in the pond with Johnny and them! In the trap! I don't even know what to do! Ah! You don't know! At my feet, boy! <laughs> Come and get it! <laughs> Here he is! It's a casual one. Casual. Real cash. Tori Black, she choked it. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Come here, baby. Alright, I think we found it. Yo, can you do slow-mo on that? Yeah, of course. Yo, they don't give a, they don't follow any rules in here. No. They never see, like, that's what I'm saying. It's no wind and they're eating the spinner baits. Yeah, like, the biggest misconception in fishing is that there are rules. If you do the exact opposite of what everyone else is doing, chances are you'll probably catch them. I'll say right now, I'd put the odds at one in, one in 10 that anyone at Okeechobee beats this bad. <laughs> There he is, Johnny Fogel, best spinnerbait fisherman this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> Got that. That thing took the rod out of your hand. I saw it through the camera. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. Look at the colors. These are the ones sitting in that vegetation right there. They're sitting in that vegetation right there. It's a nice spinnerbait bite. It's pretty unique. I'm getting more bites on the, the reel and paws. They're smacking it on the paws as I let it flutter back down. I'm not just the cameraman. Don't you ever forget it. You hear me? I can catch you too. Remember that. You're not safe for me either. Yay! 
Hold her up. Average. Below average. <laughs> Just this time we had a camera. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real though. I don't need to. Well, I would start too. First of all, right here, we were definitely motivated to get out and try and throw these Bassman spinner baits because we're not big hard sellers over at Uncle Larry Outdoors. But Mr. Glenn Casey, one of the first guys who ever genuinely believed in what we were doing, we've been doing this a long time for nothing in return. And this is one of the first guys who's ever come to us and just said, what do you need? I got you. I love what you guys do, no questions asked. So, you know, I think we really did just want to come out, see what they could do, because we, we know they're the best, and we don't, we don't really use people's stuff unless it's good. The oh, shout out, to, shout out to Zephyr and Hills. Some of the best bottled water that I've ever drank. No, no kidding. I got out early this morning, man. I was just motivated after what the these two have been doing what we've all been doing, man. Last week has been insane. Unks has really made some moves, and I just, I don't know, I wanted to get out early this morning and just grind it and try and find a giant. And I was out of body of water literally all day until these two pulled up so we could, you know, do this shoot and get these shots. And sent it in here, bushwhacked it. First time, never fished it. Johnny's hooked up. Getting some B-roll of him, some shots of him. I hook up second cast. Biggest bass of my life. I was fishing for seven hours before that, and probably caught like a five, six pounder. Come here, second cast. On the freaking, on the bass, man. Starting to feel normal. It's starting to feel normal. It's not normal. Yeah. It's start for starting to feel normal because we put in this foundation of. Who even knows? We've been all fishing together 15 years each, 20 years each. So it takes a while yeah. to start fishing like this. But And you got to do stuff that people aren't doing. Yes. Like this isn't Okeechobee. Yes. Everyone's fishing there. Everyone's fishing. I don't even know the names of these lakes, dude, because we don't have boats. We don't launch. We, 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 we look on maps and we go, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Like, no one's telling us to come here and we're not paying a guy to take us here. And you can't pay us to take you here because you probably can't come here. Cause like, you probably can't drag these kayaks. If you can drag these kayaks, hit us up. Like, we're down, yeah, we're down, we're, 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 but like, hit the gym or hit the water or something because like y'all are falling behind and like we want to see you succeed but like it's not gonna happen sitting and leaning up on the on your seat on the front deck and like not moving and using front live radar or doppler scan or whatever what is it like what's the, what am i thinking of live scope live scope this live is not gonna scope. happen you're not gonna get doppler radar <laughs> it's not gonna happen so get out like i don't know shout out glenn man <laughs> done bars bars <laughs>